Hello everyone, Harry's new spin on the rift. It's the king's fault for not giving me armed security. It's ridiculous. No one can play the victim like actor Harry, the hypocrite. According to Harry's words, it seems he is not at fault. And of course, the one at fault in the story is none other than King Charles. I wonder if King Charles was startled awake at night because Harry slandered him. Harry leaks again. Inside Harry and Charles's whole breakup, these details were first leaked to People magazine, the Sussex's favorite source. Someone close to Harry claims he blames Charles for failing to act on the true threat to Harry and his family's safety, claiming the monarch could do this for his son. How disconnected can Harry be? Keeps getting worse. This explains why the king apparently no longer answers Harry's calls. Harry cannot reach his father via phone. According to another leak this week, see what this article says. Harry thinks his father denies him UK police protection. Harry's source said, the two no longer talk by phone, and blamed the king for Harry's unbelievable situation of being denied automatic police security in the UK, despite a very real threat. If the king wanted, he could do this for his son. However, Buckingham Palace officials advised the Daily Beast that the monarch should not try to influence the royal and VIP executive committee, Rabic, which decides royals' personal safety. They said that Harry was contesting these rulings in court. Harry, being litigious, should know that neither party should communicate to the press about a lawsuit, since it might be used against them in court, yet he's still complaining through his sources. Harry, blaming King Charles for this is absurd, because the same is true now, as when Megxit occurred. Rabbik's judgment was unaffected by the Queen. Rabbik's judgment should not be influenced by the King, two independent things. That's intentional, Harry has worsened his security, by revealing his kill count, purported kill count, in his publications. For someone concerned about security, you wouldn't provoke people today, right? But Harry did it. Harry's camp accused Charles's staff of gaslighting the public by stating the monarch loves his son and wants to see him and his children more, while refusing him police protection to make such trips feasible. Reading that makes me giggle. Harry can't think the monarch can control Rabbit's actions and provide him security. He's incapable of believing it. That's absurd. Harry should not need police protection. Every time he enters the UK, that's absurd. None of Princess Anne, Zara Tyndall, Beatrice, or Eugenie have 24-7 police protection. Sophie and Edward, Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, are not police protected 24-7. These persons only receive police protection during official engagements, like palace business. Like they're on a royal charity visit, when they substitute for King Charles, Prince William, or Princess Catherine. They receive automatic police protection for the day, if they're on royal business. They can't obtain it at any time. They don't always have it. Why does Harry always have it? That's absurd. That means armed security guards are the only ones with 24-7 police protection. The royal's children, Charles and Camilla. If I'm not mistaken, only those royals get 24-7 armed security police protection. Why would Harry get it? Not logical, not logical. Speaking about King Charles's crew gaslighting the masses is absurd. Who gaslights? Harry, let's clarify, was offered to stay on palace grounds, but declined. He's rejected invitations before. Invites are drying up, but you can only invite so many times before giving up. Just typical. Charles evicting Harry from Frogmore is another factor. The source claims the proof is obvious. He was evicted from the residence, which would have allowed him to return often. He and Meghan left Frogmore for years before Charles expelled them or let the lease expire. One may argue that the UK is less dangerous for Harry and Meghan than the US. Harry thinks the threat is serious and requires protection. What risk? Not logical. However, most agree that Harry is using his kids to emotionally blackmail the king into helping Ravik. It's impossible and shouldn't be done. A Sussex insider says, the late queen intervened to safeguard Andrew. Why can't his dad not do the same for Harry? That may be inaccurate. Prince Andrew still lives at the royal launch, so there may be a misunderstanding. That location is secure. I don't think Prince Andrew has armed security anywhere in private. So I want to know who do you like more between Harry and Prince Andrew? 
And who do you hate more? Why? If you hate Harry, comment 1. And if you hate Prince Andrew, comment 2. And if you don't hate anyone, comment 3. I really want to know how many 3s appear in the comments. Ha ha ha. Back to the main topic of discussion. It's inconceivable that Harry's security is even debated. The late queen made it plain that she wanted him and his family protected, but it was not up to them. Harry's self-importance, inflated ego, and worry that this is such a huge occasion that he needs all this additional protection and pomp when he doesn't deserve it, show again. Harry has repeatedly leaked to the press about not receiving calls. The monarch doesn't have a cell phone. Therefore his aides or secretaries take calls. It's reasonable. The monarch isn't answering Harry's calls. Queen Elizabeth stopped answering Harry's calls because he's reportedly rude and often brings up controversy when calling his relatives. He never calls to check in and rebuild trust by conversing. Instead, he's always trying to get something from them or complaining. And while the king is busy being king, he's undoubtedly stressed. He's physically stressed. His daughter Catherine and son William are likely stressing him out. He may want to keep it to himself while he's not working, rest, and avoid Harry. He needs to avoid drama right now. Additionally, Harry would disclose it. Harry spills everything when Harry called on King Charles's birthday, visited for funerals, or visited after his diagnosis was announced. Complete details were revealed immediately. Every phone call, visit, vehicle trip, and discussion after Prince Philip's burial is reported in the press. Why would King Charles want to talk on the phone when it'll be public anyhow, especially given how he's feeling? Greetings, how are you today? If he said, I'm not feeling great, I'm getting treatments, that would make the headlines. This is insulting, Harry doesn't respect Charles or the royal family's privacy. They must not answer his calls, meet with him, or communicate with him, or risk losing their privacy to leaky Harry and Meghan. However, the public and media agree that the royal family and King Charles are making the correct decision by not answering Harry and Meghan's calls. Harry and Meghan, reportedly, weren't invited to Balmoral this summer. Shaka, these things are being released from Camp Sussex to present Harry and Meghan as victims again, while the true reason they can't be invited is their years-long privacy violation. Harry and Meghan have declined several invitations, and Harry complains about everything, security, etc. That kind of person can't be invited on a summer vacation when everyone should relax and enjoy themselves. The user HR question of the day is here. I don't remember the royal family ever revealing anything personal about Harry and Meghan. Yes, and it's not only that the royal family hasn't revealed as much about Harry and Meghan as Harry and Meghan have. Harry even mentioned Prince William's body in spare. Nothing is more personal than that, yet the royal family doesn't leak. They don't talk about themselves. Or Harry and Meghan. Harry and Meghan complained about palace leaks after Megxit, and for years, they claimed the palace leaked bad Meghan's stories, but the media located and reported them. They wanted to make it appear like people were leaking about them. And since they departed, and were with the royal family, Camp Sussex has leaked a lot about the Sussexes. Sussex's opinions, have they been invited, their plans for this or that, are they upset, how are they feeling today, the royals are rarely mentioned, but the Sussexes are. Their silence means we don't know what they think or feel about most things. They are far more secretive than Harry and Meghan. Big leaks may have occurred after Meghan left the royal family, but there have been none. Holy crap. The royal family could have spilled important news this year, but they didn't. No word. When Meghan worked with the royals, leaks were ubiquitous. What proof is needed that the leakers are who? The Sussexes, the leaking ones. Right? Why would King Charles want to talk to the person who openly accused him of racism on the worldwide stage and continues to tell lies about his father and his family? I'm amazed he's never gone to speak to Meghan's father, family, or even other old friends she's dumped to get a bit more info on her. I wonder if you or Sugar, even a father, would not want to open it up on the worldwide stage. What a filial son. If Harry won't learn from his mistakes in accusing the royal family of racism, he is will continue on the path of destruction. 
As Meghan has taught Harry, traitors don't prosper, clearly, Harry doesn't understand that his own actions have consequences, they knew before they left, that security was part of the job, you quit the job, you quit the free security, that's simple. It's such a shame that he was so coddled for so long, isn't it? He became appallingly entitled, just beyond. Tragic, what's worse, is that he married a woman who is either an opportunist, or has no common sense. Megan had been in the workforce for many years, and should know that you don't quit a job without a plan. A 40-year-old couple, asking their family for handouts, is not a plan. I am sick to death of Harry's constant whining. He's such an embarrassment, and is showing how simple-minded he is. Harry is not simple-minded. He's vindictive, like his viper wife. That's why their vindictiveness is multiplied when they got married, and their lies are multiplied to the British royal family's detriment. Both are the lowest form of a human being. We shouldn't have to pay for their security. They can pay their own. Going to Colombia is dangerous too. Yet they're going. The hypocrisy is astounding. If they don't live or work in the UK, or for the people, why should the people pay any security for them? And the Americans don't have a royal family, except in Meghan's imagination. So they don't want to pay. When they visit other countries, they've managed to talk security into the deal. And it's only for show, in USA and UK, Commonwealth countries. Harry and Meghan really are trying to have their cake and eat it too. The traitor seems to forget he's literally demanding taxpayers' money, to which he has no right. His sense of entitlement is astounding. Additionally, they get full security if they're here to see the royal family, with 28 days' notice. On a case-by-case -case basis, the only thing they wouldn't get is outriders. He has no clue that taxpayers fund the royal family's security. He thinks money grows on trees, because he never had to worry about where it came from before. He took the freedom flight to become financially independent. What a crazy Harry. What do you want to say to this drug addict? Comment below with anything you want to say. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please support us more by liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. Goodbye and see you.